we we live in a society but thankfully we live in one that we can escape and today i will be shifting today i will be leaving our reality and going into whatever reality i want let's break this down real quick what is shifting the definition is apparently <laughs> apparently okay i don't like the attitude of i don't like the attitude already i don't like the attitude of this website apparently Shifting, sometimes called reality shifting, is just a way of training your mind to enter a new reality. You then have to imagine your desired reality. Or if you have a pre-written script about how you want your shifted reality experience to pan out prepared, recite it. So basically, it's leaving this reality and going into whatever reality you want from like a TV show, a movie, wherever. So I was on TikTok one day, right? And I came across this girl's video and she was talking about reality shifting into the Harry Potter Hogwarts world, right? And this was my first time ever hearing about this. I thought it was just like a kind of like a role play thing that people did on TikTok. And so I was indulged so i went to her account and i'm no joke spent like an hour on her account listening to her talking about all her experiences of her shifting into like the harry potter hogwarts world she was dating like numerous people she was like hooking up with everybody she was having a fun time and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not gonna lie okay my first uh my first thought was this is the most insane thing ever is her psychiatrist and therapist aware of aware of this but hey you can't get mad at me for that train of thought because look at me now now i'm like trying to do it also real quickly let's take a minute i want to show you all the new stuffed animals i recently bought okay i got this i got this frog plush they're girlfriends technically yeah they are the same one we kind of have similar looking noses huh twins um anyways so today i'm gonna try to shift realities and you know what's crazy the way that i so quickly judged these people for doing this and i was like why are they pretending that this is real like this is obviously like not real but like at the same time for as long as i can remember i have been in fake realities that I've created in my head. I mean, we all do this. We all do this so I know everybody knows what I'm talking about. This makes sense to me to dip into already created realities instead of doing all the hard work myself and having to create them in my head. Bro, isn't he so cute? This is the best thing I've gotten in so long. He's huge. He was $24 and I don't know how to transfer that into non-American money because I'm from America and they literally don't teach us anything about other countries. Um, they just lie to us about our own history and make us look like the heroes even though we were the villains in most situations um, so sorry <laughs> so step one okay you guys I actually need to learn how to do this because like I get the gist of it I get the gist of it but I don't know how so I'm gonna watch a bunch of tutorials and then I will teach you what I've learned but I'm really over here like well what reality am I gonna jump into like I kind of can I be a fish I kind of want to experience being a fish in the ocean though that's so scary though Maybe a bear in the wild. Scary. Nature is so scary. Okay, so I've been watching these videos for like 30 minutes and I'm not done, but I do want to say if you struggle with mental illness that causes you to blur reality already, either don't watch this video or take this video with a grain of salt. I say this because I have seen some of these videos and the things they are saying are dangerous. Like they're saying stuff that is just not scientifically backed and like they are kind of playing into people's mental illness. Here's what I've learned. The main... The main, uh, the main... What am I saying? I can't even talk. Hopefully in the reality I jump into next, I'm extremely articulate, uh, which I can decide for myself because you can customize everything. But anyways, it's basically accepting that alternative realities exist, which is something that I totally believe in. So technically, there is a reality where you're doing anything you can literally imagine, right? And I do believe in that. I'm a believer of that. And then it's basically you trying to tap in to whatever reality you choose. I just watched the video and I think I've been shifting for as long as, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is the method I'm gonna use, right? Let me explain it and then let me explain how I've literally been doing this forever. I think a lot of us have done this. So it's called the starfish method, right? And this is what you do, you lay down, and like a starfish without your limbs touching, okay? Which is how I fall asleep. And then you're meant to start going into that daydream, right? Where you're trying to go, which is what I always do before bed, like we all do. And then like you're meant to like get to that daydream when you go to sleep. 
That always happens to me though. I'm editing this video and I'm gonna be popping in with these little like Emma Chamberlain I'm editing videos. Also, yes, I have elf ears on. I bought some today. I'm obsessed. And it's really making me think about how if I was in high school nowadays, I would be I would have been bullied. I weirdly wasn't bullied in high school, but like I feel like if I was me now and was in high school, I would be bullied. Anyways. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be popping in because I was like really freaking out in these clips because the video I just watched, when she was explaining shifting, she was explaining what I have done for years. And so I was like, have I been doing this without realizing already? So I'm gonna have to pop in here and there to clarify things more. So the first thing I need to clarify is the method that I'm talking about is actually called the Raven method, um, but the pose is the starfish pose. So the Raven method is counting down from like 100 and like going into like the daydream. I think shifting has a scientific answer and I think we're using shifting because when you think about something before you go to bed, you dream about it. You know, I think we all do this. Like, for example, when I was like 13, 14, I was obsessed with Justin Bieber. Like the way I was obsessed with Justin Bieber was so unhealthy, but I was so obsessed. Before bed, I would just be thinking about us doing stuff. And he was in my dream every night for like years. Like when I tell you, me and little old Justin Bieber, we hung out in my dream for years, I'm not joking. And these dreams with Justin Bieber were so extremely vivid that they felt real. There's dreams that feel like dreams and then there's like the dreams that feel real. The Justin Bieber dreams, I'm telling you, felt so, so real, which was great for 13 year old me because I was in love. It, again, it was very unhealthy. Like it was so unhealthy. Like I vividly remember one time searching how to stop being in love with Justin Bieber. Cause I like 13, 14 year old me was like, this is unhealthy. I'm too obsessed with somebody who will never know I exist. If I think about like anybody while falling asleep, there's like a 70% chance they'll be in my dream. I don't think that's me reality hopping. I think that is just my brain being like, okay, well let's continue these thoughts now subconsciously. I'm not lucid dreaming because I'm not aware that I'm dreaming. However, when I was a kid, and I feel like most people I talk to about this are literally like, wait, same? As a kid, and I'm talking like 12 and under, every time I was dreaming, I knew I was dreaming and I was in control of my dreams. And like, not in the sense that I could go wherever I wanted, but in the sense that like whatever place I was in dream world as a kid, I was like, I can do whatever I want. I'm dreaming. Like, I knew I was dreaming. I couldn't wake myself up though, but I, cause I remember a lot of times I used to try to wake myself up because I also, okay, I'm going so deep into this, but I feel like if you clicked on this video, you will care about this stuff. I also used to have rep repetitive dreams, which I have now found out um, is an OCD thing and I have OCD and I've had it since I was a kid, but I used to have repetitive dreams that were one, me running away from a kidnapper and two, me running away from a monster, but specifically this monster from the Rudolph movie. And I had these dreams for years and they were like the same dream, but like it's slightly different, like different sets or whatnot. And I was always, aware I was dreaming and I always knew it was fake but it was still so scary and I could never wake myself up but in those dreams I knew they were fake but then I had other dreams where I would just like fly because that's what I like to do in my dreams as a kid I would like choose to fly I would just be like okay let's fly I would normally have to like run down a hill and then flying for me was like actually like doing the motions of swimming but in the sky anyways so I don't know if I was lucid dreaming as a kid, but I feel like literally most everyone I say that to, they always are like, no, same. I used to be like aware of when I was dreaming as a kid. Is there science behind that? I'm not gonna search it, but there has to be. I think I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm like a little weirded out because I'm like, I've been kind of doing this. I don't think I've been lucid dreaming and I don't, also I did some like research because I was like, isn't then reality shifting just the same thing as lucid dreaming? And there, that's a lot of controversy. There's a lot of controversy. No one get mad at me. Um, some people think yes, some people think no. I'm gonna stay out of it. I'm gonna stay out of it. I actually think I'm gonna be able to do this because like I said, you know, there's like a 70% chance whoever I'm thinking about will be in my dream, but I've never thought of a location while falling asleep. It's typically just a person 
Actually, that's not true. I don't explain the next part well, so I'm gonna do it here. It can also be a location, because typically before bed, I watch YouTube videos for like hours. And if I'm watching like the same person for like hours, I will be like, <laughs> this is so creepy. But like, say like they always film in their room. I will have a dream that I'm hanging out with them in their room. So like it can be a location, but never like a whole world. It's always like very specific and the location like I'll go to in my dreams, it won't be like exact. You know what I mean? It's like I know I'm there, but it's not like exact. I do want to say this and I actually think this might make some people a little mad, but I do want to say it. I don't think you're actually leaving this reality. I think that it's just your brain is brilliant and our unconscious mind store so much information so i do think that if you're somebody who can like fall asleep and you dream about whatever you're thinking about when you're falling asleep um that then like it's your brain's able to like recreate stuff that like you've spent a lot of time like watching I don't think you're changing realities. I just think our brain is really powerful. And maybe that's controversial and maybe you are changing realities, but I'm not gonna push the whole you're changing realities thing. But who knows, maybe you are, but I do just wanna put my piece out there on that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to do this. And I don't know where I'm gonna try to shift to. So we are gonna have to think that through together. And also while you fall asleep, again, in starfish position, which is how I sleep already, which is why I'm like, and this is just the method I choose. There's so many methods. You also apparently don't have to be sleeping, but it like, if I can already do this while sleeping, then like, it's gonna be my easiest. It's weird that I've already done this type of shit before. And I think most people do this. So let's keep going. Basically, there's something called scripting where you can like plan out and write out everything that you want to happen. I'm not gonna do that, uh, but you can do that. I'm just gonna kind of go in and I'm trying to think of a location and I think the location I'm gonna choose is New York City. I don't wanna go into any shows or movies and I know that's what most people do just because I don't even know like what I would wanna go into. Fun fact, before COVID hit, I was meant to move to New York City. And so I obviously never did because remember they were like the epicenter for a while. So I think I can shift there. I'm gonna really imagine me in New York City before bed. That is the goal, I'm gonna fall asleep daydreaming about it, saying my affirmations, which is shifting is easy. I'm gonna be able to shift and I'm gonna try to shift into New York City. So I just talked to a few people about this um, because I was like, don't we all do this? And I think we kind of all do. Um, one person I talked to, they were saying like they fall asleep a lot of times to reading books and they have had very, very, very vivid dreams of them in the book world. Um, and it does feel like a different reality. I, to be honest, thought a lot of these people who made these TikToks were just daydreaming and they were overdoing it. But I know that like they are being real. Of course, I think this is a very individual thing. I don't think you're actually switching realities. I think our brain is just so incredibly powerful. And if you do try hard enough, you can put yourself while dreaming into any situation you want. But again, I'm also not denying that maybe it is. So I guess the next time we're gonna talk will be when it's time for me to go to bed. Okay, you guys, I'm so tired. It's like 12 at night. And so I'm gonna get ready for bed and go to bed. And I will update you guys in the morning on how it went. I honestly feel very confident just because I've always been able to do this, but I also don't know if I'm just dreaming. My dreams aren't always super vivid. Sometimes I have dreams that feel real, like super, super real. And then sometimes I have, you know, just dreams that feel like dreams. So the goal is for it to feel super real. New York City, I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I need my glasses. <laughs> When I was going to bed, I actually decided that I wanted to make it, I wanted to make it a little more challenging. And I, again, remember, I just wanted to picture me in New York doing stuff. But instead I was like, I'm gonna make my sister be there with me. Let me see if I can get an, another person with me, right? And then my camera died and I did not realize and I shared my entire story, but it's okay. Cause I'm gonna share it again right now. So did I end up in New York with my sister? No, my sister never made it into my dream. Did I make it to New York? I don't know, but 
something even better happened. So leading up to me going to bed, I was watching the YouTubers Sinjin Drowning, which is uh, Kaylin and Weston. And I was no joke watching old videos of theirs for like two, three hours. Like I was full up binging their videos, right? And the last videos I was watching before bed was them in the UK for like, I think London VidCon. And so those were like the last like long videos. They're like 20 minute videos I was watching. And I was watching a few of them before bed. And so I did dream of like a city, but I'm 90% sure it was actually London. And it didn't look like a city, but I knew I was in a city. So maybe let's not say I dreamed of a city, even though I was in a city, but you know, when like you dream and like, you know, you're in a certain place, but it looks completely different. That's how it was. But I ended up in London hanging out with them, which makes so much sense. Cause I consumed their YouTube videos for no joke, like three hours before going to bed. Of course, I'm going to dream of that because I'm getting a visual of them too. So it's fresh in my mind versus me, you know, in starfish position, trying to go to bed and thinking of something for like 10, 20 minutes before I'm asleep. So it makes sense that that's actually what I was gonna end up dreaming about. But I think that's normal. I think that everything I've said in this video is like, we all do this. We all do it. If you consume stuff or think about stuff hard before bed, you dream it. And I just made this into a whole video. Like I'm so special, but we, every last person does this. Maybe it, like it's different degrees for it to be shifting. It has to be super, super, super realistic. But like, I still often have those dreams. And I feel like most people I talk to will often have those dreams. Who knows? Maybe we're all just shifting all the time. Anyways, that was the video. Um, If any of you watch this at nighttime and then dream of me, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you wanna hang out again. I will see you when I see you. I love you guys so much. Bye.